Making friends can be difficult, <laughs> to say the least, in real life, and even the friends that we have made, they're probably from work or school, which is usually circumstantial. And that doesn't mean that those friends can't be valuable, but they're circumstantial. And when you're out in the real world and whatnot, it can be a little harder to find your people, especially if you really wanna find your people, the right people. I've been moving so often, I go to different countries, I've been basically forced to push myself out of my comfort zone to make sure that I find my people. Holy, I almost fell. The camera, the wind is going crazy, so anyway. But because of that, I have been, like I said, needing to force out of my little comfort zone to find people, to find connections, and I've learned a lot of lessons along the way. Also, where to even find friends, actually, like actual practical advice. There's lessons that I think are so valuable that I want people to know, but then there's the actual, like, oh, shit this is how you truly find friends. I'm gonna give you both of those while showing you a cute little friend date that I went on. Am I doing makeup a bit? Yes. Is this the first time I've ever done this? Also yes. But I'm tired. And a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do because you know what we're doing? I'm meeting someone new today. Today we are going to museum at a poetry reading, but before we get deeply into it, let's get to tip number one. Actually be open to having and making friends. If that was somebody that I want to get to connect to, it would have been really easy just to start a conversation. So when you're out in the open, make sure that you're open to talking to new people, being social if you want. I think a lot of times we forget to make ourselves available, especially in like the society. We just don't really do that. The other point is, is to make sure that you're emotionally available, not just like mentally available, but also making sure that you're emotionally available to really make a connection with somebody there's nothing shittier than like meeting up with somebody and you not actually being properly open to that connection and then you kind of feel flat after and there could have been something really good there but you weren't emotionally open to it so making sure that you open yourself okay i'm starting to run late now i'm having too much fun let's go meet her Another thing that I want to know is be okay with not every person you meet being your bestie. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I think there's so much pressure, at least with young people, <laughs> and maybe old people too, because if you're somebody who wants to make a connection, you know, you really want the person that you meet up with or the people that you meet up with to really build a connection with, but sometimes not everybody's actually going to be your bestie. And instead, kind of look at a hangout or a new connection as just an opportunity to feel social, an opportunity to get to know somebody new and relieve the pressure of them needing to fill this gap in your life, needing to be your next best friend. Especially because if you go into that, they might actually turn out a little... You might want to backtrack, honestly. You might be like, oh shit. <laughs> We shouldn't go so deep into this. So just kind of be open, maybe take it slow. Um, so you just don't find yourself in a shitty situation, but just be open to the fact that, be open emotionally, as I've stated, but also be open to the fact that not every person you meet is gonna be your person. And that's okay. It's still a wonderful experience. And I guess opportunity that you got to meet someone new. Okay, this one is really important. When you're starting your adventure on meeting new people, I want you to think about what kind of friends you actually want in terms of do you want friends that you go out with or do you want friends that you do wholesome stuff with do you want friends that are kind of more surface level because those are still valuable too as well or do you want like deeper friends what kind of areas in your life are you trying to i guess fill the gaps i don't like that because that's like as if you can't be fulfilled on your own but I don't really know what else to say, so we're going to use that. <laughs> what kind of areas in your life do you want to fill the gaps in terms of your friendships? Do you want people to go out with? Or like I said, more wholesome friends. Just being more mindful about that and be flexible as well. Someone might start off as a day friend, but then actually end up as a night friend. You know, going out, if that's something that you like to do. So kind of be flexible with the connections that you're making and such. Another thing I want you to think about is you might just need to reconnect with the friends that you already have if you have friends it's worth maybe instead of doing like okay i need to find new people it's worth maybe just deepening those friendships either you can have a straight up candid discussion be like hey i want to be closer or you can just 
ask them to hang out more often. But sometimes the energy can be put into the connections that we already have and deepening those and making those more fulfilling if you have found a straight apart and whatnot versus going out and finding new people. I mean, you could do both, obviously, but I just want to make sure that, you know, you're reminded like you can deepen the connections that you have if those are connections that have the potential to be deepened. Does that make sense? Okay, where to find friends? So important. First of all, I'm gonna, I, I'm a small little YouTuber. Okay, I have no brand deals. So when I say this, I mean it. Bumble BFF, I mean it. I love that shit. Honestly, the reason why Bumble BFF is so good is it's straightforward. And the people who are on there are also generally open. Oh, the little doggies are so excited to see each other. He's so excited, he can't stop yapping. There's something so wholesome about saying just a happy dog. Um, I read this book. It's a cute little book. It's by Ed Hart Katol. I'm dyslexic, so I think I'm mixing those up. But the whole premise is, is these dogs and your pets and your animals are just kind of like your reminders that like life is just good just because it is. This dog is so happy just because he has a reason to be. And when you like give them food and they wag their tail, they're happy just because it is, just because life is good, period. It doesn't have to be any deeper. It's about being very much in the present moment and knowing that things are just good. That dog is happy just because things are good. I'm happy and the birds are tweeting because things are just good. And so I've been kind of like thinking about that whenever I see a really happy dog or a sweet little pet or just in my day-to-day -day life. But yeah, things just are good, period. You don't have to deepen it. You don't have to come up with all the different ways that they're not. It just is. You have food, that's good. There's a happy dog, life's good. Anyway, that's a tangent. I'm also trying to wait for him to stop barking so I can keep talking, but hey, you know, it's a good piece of advice. Anyway, Bumblebee Fab. <laughs> Truly, the reason why I love it is because the people going on it are people who are already establishing, I wanna find friends, I wanna find connection, and that's target number one. Sometimes you meet people in real life and they're cool, but maybe they're not as open to making friends because maybe they already have a group of people or whatnot. So Bumble BFF is just a surefire way to really make those connections and to find people who are also open, who are also intentionally making sure that they put themselves out there enough to make friends as well. I love it. It's also just quite easy. Um, if you're someone who maybe doesn't go out a lot or it takes maybe a lot of social energy to talk to strangers or whatnot, it's a really easy way to just like be in your home but also making efforts to find connections. Also, if you're busy as well, some people are too busy to actually like, I don't know, do that. So it's just, it's easy, it's lovely, it's straightforward. My only tip with using Bumble Bee about that was to actually hang out with people, like actually make plans, actually use it. Um, some people are a bit too shy to make the first move or talk or whatnot. The dog is over there, I don't know if you can see. So just make sure that you actually make the effort to make plans. I know, like I said, there's a lot of like people who are a little afraid, so kind of just being like the bigger person um, and doing that. Also, it depends on which country you're at. Because I've used it in Paris and England, and so, Different people react differently, honestly. Some people are more willing, some people aren't. So just make sure you actually put the effort in, is what I'm trying to say. Because some people want to make that, but then they don't. So make sure that you make it happen at least for yourself and for the other person as well. Another one in terms of the internet is finding Facebook groups. I know it was really helpful for me when I went to Paris. Because for some reason there wasn't a lot of people on Bumble. So I was like, okay, I need to think about how else I can find people that are pretty straightforward. So I looked at Facebook groups and I found women in Paris. Um, so kind of trying to find Facebook groups, whether they're just actual like women's groups or men's groups or queer groups or just like other hobbies that you have. So try to find people in your area with the same hobbies. And that leads into the next one, which is obviously think about the hobbies that you have, but then think about what actual other in-person activities is going around in your community, in your town, in your city, and actually attend to those. I know for me, poetry, I went to a poetry reading with my friend that I met on Bumble. Ah, hello, things are working out. And like that was just a really good example of like going to a poetry reading and having other people be there as well. So try to think about that. Maybe there's 
photography walks, maybe there's, you play sports and there's like a local team that you can join. Um, really pushing yourself to do those. And also like everyone there also has the same shared interests, so that should be a little less scary. <laughs> oh yeah, another one is, another way that you can look out. So you have the hobby things, but then you also just have like, just look at what's actually happening in your area and in your community. You can find these posts through um, community boards at libraries or coffee shops. Just kind of not only think about your hobby and where those can happen like in person and like those activities can happen in person, but also think about just attending a random event that's going on in your city. And again, just being open to other possibilities and being open to other things like that. This one is, I don't think, one that is often shared about at all bear with me because the sound of it doesn't sound great and appealing but influencer group chats i know there's a few people that i follow who have community based um group chats and actually this is perfect okay let me say my piece first and then i'm getting too excited but find like an influencer or somebody that you look really look up to online and they might have a group chat that you can join if people are following them then it's likely that you might be at least somewhat like-minded so you can join that group chat be like hey anybody in this area or this and that and you can make new friends and connections that way but that being said i actually created my own not because <clears throat> hold on <clears throat> graceful right not because I'm an influencer or anything, but because I genuinely wanted to create community. And so I have my own little group chat that I created. It's called Let's Brag Together. It's women only. If you're interested in joining that, we have weekly gratitudes where every Sunday people share what they're grateful for. And then every Monday we have Manifesting Monday. And it's just really cute because it's such a nice supportive group of people and just girls sharing their love and sharing their support and sharing what they're grateful for and so when you read what someone else is grateful for it helps like make you happy and excited and inspires you as well so that's why i created it if you want to join um dm the instagram because i want to make sure that everyone who joins is vetted so dm the instagram tell me hey i came from this little video um the information is on the screen and linked below blah 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 so yeah i don't know i just felt like another example of putting yourself out there first is some people are too afraid to make these group chats to make these communities and hell you can even do it too if you want like an actual if you have an actual idea what to create the community around because people want to join these things people want these communities but not a lot of people actually created them so that's why i took it upon myself to do that yeah it's really cute so yeah anyway that's a good example though as to why as to just where else to meet people either through community group chats like i mentioned the one that i have or finding influencers um who have that kind of community as well i know there's like facebook groups from influencers so yeah and the last thing that i have is not necessarily something that you can plan ahead but it's just something to keep in the back of your mind and it's this idea of if you're someone who goes to a concert, just make friends with people there. I remember one time in high school, me and my friend went to this coin concert, um, which is a smaller venue, and me and her were just in the bathroom, and this girl comes out, and she's just so excited, and she's alone. And her and I, and her and my other friend, like, we just have a little moment, and then we, like, go off just because, you know, it's girls in the bathroom having a cute moment. But then she came up to us later, like, right before the concert started. She's like, hey, I'm alone, but you guys seem really nice like can i just hang out with you for the night and we still are connected to this day and it's just a good example of like a first of all i love that she went alone amazing um and that she actually put the effort to like make connections with us and so you can use that story as an inspiration for you to do that in your own life whether you do come with friends or alone like kind of just tagging along finding a group of people that you like at a concert or anywhere else for that matter like it's just putting yourself out there like i mentioned before with all the other tips like making sure you actually put this effort out there instead of just wishing you had friends go make it happen for yourself you got this if you want to see me actually actively make friends i have a couple videos about them so i'm going to link them on the screen so you can feel a feel a little bit more inspired and see that if i can do it you can do it i hope you have a great time making friends and if you're a little scared watch the videos and it might make it a little less scary making friends Mwah. bye